Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Helmi. Do you travel a lot or are you a digital nomad? Then chances are you probably heard of the wise card. So you know like if you travel and if you sort your credit card every time you buy something, you don't really know how much you're gonna be charged until the statement comes up maybe a couple of days later. So the wise card can help you solve that issue. So for example, you go anywhere in this world, let's say to Singapore, and if you buy something that says $30 on the receipt, that's exactly how much you'll be paying with your wise card. However, if you use your credit card, you buy something for 30 Singapore dollars, you don't really know how much you're gonna be charged in your local bank currency. $30, like how much is that in Malaysian ringgit? I don't know. And I wouldn't know until the statement comes out maybe a couple of days later. So stick around and I'm gonna show you how the Wise Card can help you save money every time you travel abroad. So it's perfect for people who travel a lot and also digital nomads. Okay, so let's do a quick introduction of what Wise is. So Wise is a fintech company. So originally it's used to send or receive money abroad. So for example, if you want to send money from one currency to another, that's what WISE was originally there for. And it's very transparent and it's cheap. So the fees are typically very close to what Google says online. So it's a very, very good conversion rate. So I'm going to leave this video right here if you want to see an example of how I transfer money from Singapore dollar to Malaysia ringgit. All right, so link up there. In this video, however, I'm going to be talking about their new feature, which is the WISE card. Now, the first order of business is that you need to open up a WISE account. Once you have your WISE account, you can set up multiple currency accounts within that one account. So for example, if I usually buy stuff from the US that's charging USD, I can open up a USD account. If I frequently travel to Europe, I can also open up a Euro account. There's Indonesia Rupiah account, there's Malaysia Ringgit account, there's Singapore dollars. I think most of the major mainstream currencies are available on WISE. So if you want to transfer money from one currency to another, Another, you can use this WISE multi-currency account. Now, the WISE card is an additional new feature that you have to request. Once you set up an account with WISE, log into your app or on the PC, and then there's gonna be one button down there that says WISE card. So click on that and then apply for a WISE card and then wait for that card to be delivered. I think it will cost you about 13 ringgit to get the card and that's nothing really. So you'll get the card within like a week or so delivered straight to your home. So follow the instruction within that envelope to activate your card. So recently Recently, I just went on a family vacation to Bali, Indonesia. When I was there, I used the WISE card exclusively to pay for pretty much everything. I didn't swipe my credit card at all. I was spent everything on the WISE card. So before I flew to Indonesia, I opened up an Indonesia Rupiah account. Then I bought some Indonesia Rupiah currency from my main currency, which is Malaysia Ringgit. Now this is the part where you will get charged a fee, a foreign exchange fee. And here's what it looks like. And then the exchange rate is very similar to what Google says it was during the day that I did the exchange. So I'm quite happy with the exchange rate. And now I have some Indonesia rupiah currency in my WISE account. So once I reach physically to Indonesia, I can buy stuff with my WISE card and then it will deduct the exact Indonesia rupiah amount from my Indonesia rupiah account. For example, if I bought something and then the receipt says it's a uh, 100,000 Indonesia rupiah, that's exactly how much I will pay 100,000 rupiah deducted from my Indonesia rupiah account. So that transaction is almost like without any fees. However, if I use my credit card that is issued here in Malaysia, and then I go abroad and spend something that's 100,000 rupiah, how much is that gonna show on my credit card? Like, I wouldn't know right? I need to wait for my statement to come out maybe a couple of days later to see how much exactly am I paying in Malaysia Ringgit. And that's the beauty of the WISE card. Okay, so the other cool thing is you can withdraw money from ATM. So your first 1,000 Ringgit worth of withdrawal at a maximum rate of twice a month is free, no ATM charges. So if you withdraw more than a thousand ringgit worth of cash abroad, that's when you're gonna get charged five ringgit plus 1.75% for the amount of money that you wanna withdraw. But if I'm honest with you, the whole point of having the WISE card is that you don't need cash when you're abroad. I was in Bali, Indonesia, and you would think that they would require a lot of cash everywhere, but actually pretty much all the shops that I went to at least accepted Visa or MasterCard. So I literally didn't really use any cash at all when I was there. The only time I did use cash was to pay for our super, which is our private driver. And also if we wanted to eat at like the roadside stall or something like that. But for the most part, we went to cafes, restaurants and all that. They all accept major credit cards. So I could use the WISE card to pay for pretty much everything. And all of the statements 
time it's shown on the app. And it's not like a credit card where you have to wait a couple of days before it shows up. Like if you charge something right now, like a couple of seconds after this, you're gonna get notification on the app that your card has just been charged whatever Indonesian rupiah. So the cool thing about this is that it helps us to budget our spending when we are abroad. We have a restaurant eating out budget and by having this thingy here, it automatically tell us how much we're spending in terms of restaurant, going to pharmacy, groceries, that kind of stuff. During our third or fourth day, we actually underspending our restaurant budget. So to us, it's like, okay, that's cool. Maybe we can go to a nicer, fancier restaurant now that we have a little bit extra budget. So this whole categorization of spending, awesome. Now here's some pros and cons of the Wise Card. So the pros is that when I go abroad and I have money in the Indonesia Rupiah account or wherever it is I'm going, there's literally no fee to use the card and to deduct money from my foreign currency account. The second pro is I really like the app. I think it's very user-friendly and it's very quick to show what I've just spent. Now the cons, however, I went to Indonesia with another couple and I convinced them to also get a Wise card as well. But for whatever reason, they thought it was a little confusing to use at first. So I had to step in and explain to them how it works in order for them to use the card. I don't know, for me, it was pretty straightforward. But for some people who may not want to invest so much time researching and understanding how the thing works, may not figure out how to use the card and probably give up if nobody actually helped them. So this is probably something that WISE could help new users to get acquainted on how to use it better. Okay, so there's another function that's called JARS. So when you open up a foreign currency account, there's two accounts that you can apply for. The regular currency account. So if you buy something, it will deduct from that account. You can think of it as a checking account. And then there's a second thing called JARS. So JARS is kind of like a savings account without any interest. It's just a place where you store money, but you cannot accidentally spend it. So it's not linked to your WISE card. And that's the problem that my friend had. So when he opened up these foreign currency account, he accidentally put the money into jars instead of the regular checking account. So once he was there, he said, hey, I have money in my Indonesia rupiah account. But when I swipe, it says it's declined. It's because the savings account called jars is not connected to your WISE card. So this whole thing could be a little bit more user-friendly, I guess, because even for me, like I have to search for like help articles to figure out what is this jar thingy. That's pretty much it. If you travel a lot or if you are a digital nomad, chances are you probably already have this card. If you don't, then I hope this video has been helpful to explain to you that why everybody should have one of these. So if you want to get your own wise card, here's what you gotta do. Please register. I'm gonna leave the link down there. So your first 2,500 ringgit worth of money that you're sending abroad will have no fees. If you use my link below, log into your app, request for the wise card, wait for it to be delivered, then follow the instructions to activate your card. Then before you travel or during your travel, you can open up the foreign currency account, buy some local currency, and then you can start spending like a local. All right. So there you go. I hope this video has been helpful. I'm going to leave the link down there to sign up for your WISE account. Again, my name is Helmi. See ya.